So you're probably wondering why we're all here today. Well, today we're going to get real about cooking, and we're going to be cooking meat pies for you. James is going to talk us through our first bit. What we've got here, we've got our wholemeal flour, loads of vitamins and minerals, lots of fibre and protein in there. That's really good stuff for you. Okay. So we're going to make a little well in there and pop in just a touch of butter, which is going to crisp up the pastry. And I can ask you, if you would, Jake, to use your fingertips and try and sort of make those into breadcrumbs. So mix it in with the flour. We'll put just a tiny little bit of sea salt in there, which will bring the flavour out. And then we're going to add, start adding a little bit of water. Okay, so okay. if you want to give that all a, a big mix together, and it'll come together into a pastry. Start We're going to pop over this side and uh, get on the show. Hello, Matt, mate, dog. Get your ingredients out. What are we going to do over here? Bit of white flour. Here you go. Okay. Simple. Okay. Done. Go bit of lard. There we go. So we're just going to throw in this lard. Like that. Done. There's a lot of lard in there, dude. Plenty of lard. It's cheap, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. And put loads right. in. And then who wants to get their hands in? Go on. Go yeah. on. Good man. So get in there, mix it all together. We'll put a bit of salt in as well, so right. a bit of flavour. So there we go. Oh, Done. dude. Lovely. What are we going to do next, James? Dust the surface with a little bit of flour. And you know, if you want to get round here, if you just pop out the way a second, Jake, and give it a roll, that's it. Forward and backwards. How are you guys getting on over here? We're going to get technical now. So we've got the, uh, we pull this out. All right. And then what we do is we just... Like that. Throw it on there, <laughs> like so. That's the drop. The That's grab and drop. Okay. And then we're just going to flatten it out. You don't need to be too precise. Just slap it on. There we go. And then give it a little roll out there. Once that's rolled, just like Blue Peter, here's one I made earlier. So that's done. Eventually it looks exactly like that. So we're sorted there. Brilliant. Okay. Fantastic. Here we go. What we're going to do now is do the filling. So... James, talk us through the filling. What are we going to do? Right, what we're going to do then, Nate, we're going to pop a tiny little bit of olive oil into our pan. Yep. For our filling. Literally just a tablespoon there. So what's, uh, what's good about olive oil then? Uh, it's monounsaturated fat, so it's not going to clog up your arteries. And, yep. and, you know, it's really good for you. Just a small amount, it's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. Next, we'll put the carrots in. And the potatoes. It's all good, healthy vegetables, fresh vegetables, really good for you, full of energy. Mm. And then we've got our lean minced beef. Lovely. So this is more than 80% meat, a tiny bit of fat in there, yeah. but that, that just gives it flavour, that's no problem at all. So Fantastic. we'll pop all of that in, and we'll fry this up, and we're almost there. It's a lot simpler over here, because we like to keep it simple in the fast food industry. Right. Not too much messing about with the veggies and that. Let's just get straight to the meat. Well, this is MRM, and what that stands for is uh, Mechanically Recovered Meat. Okay. Um, what on earth is that? But all the good meat that we've cut off the animal, which we use in our dish, uh, we're left with bones and carcasses. So what they do, they get these in, in the factories, hang them up, the carcass, and then they'll spray it down with a really high-powered hose, and, and literally crush and squeeze everything they can out of the bone so that all they're left with then is the calcium of the bone. Uh, everything else, all the cartilage and the veins and the, the bone marrow and all the gunk and, and the horrible bits all get washed down onto the floor into a real slurry and then they scoop it up with shovels, pop it in a bucket and sell it onto Matt on the I cheap. I make a pie. Now the problem with this is there's not much flavour. Essentially what it is is just fat. It's kind of like, you know, drinking a bit of oil. At right. the moment, you know, it's, it's just fat. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that flavour out with plenty of salt. Lovely. Just get that in there. Oh. Done. Okay. We need some veg in there, obviously. Right. So we'll get a bit of onion powder in there. Why haven't you why haven't we got real onions? Cheaper. All oh, right, okay. He's back onion to his powder, cheapness cheap. again. Right, Fantastic. so Nathan, yeah, what we're going to yep. do next, we're just going to put a tiny bit of beef stock in. Right. It's like the sort of gravy that your grandma makes from the tray of a Sunday roast. So it's all real nice, real good for you. You know exactly what's gone into it. Basically, the kind of gravy that Matt's using will be made using the same kind of meat, the mechanically reclaimed meat that he uses to actually fill the pie with. And again, it needs loads of salt in there. It'd be really salty to try and get any flavour out of it. So it's kind of just layering bad on bad, really. So we've got all of our vegetables in there, our meat. Yeah. As we've got so much flavour in there, we only need a tiny bit of salt. There's too much salt's bad for you. It raises your blood pressure and it can cause, cause problems health problems, and a little bit of pepper. We put a little bit of parsley in there as well for some flavour. Um, so that is pretty much ready. Just a bit of beef stock went in there, and that's ready to go into our pie dish. Fantastic. So, 
let's uh, let's get that going. We've lined up high dish. I'm yeah. going to ask one of these girls. Cool. Can you crack an egg? Excellent. Excellent. And then if you want to give it a whisk with that fork. Do you want to do that, yeah, Steph? Give me the egg. Cheers. We've put our filling into the pie there, and we're going to just put our lid on, our pie lid. That's great. Well done, Steph. Done fun, is that? No. Ah. no? Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Good effort. Let's go over and have a look at you, Matt, it's doing your pie. Turn this, this off. In the way, yeah. There Turn this off, and in we go. Simple as. Let's get it in there. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> Who's waiting for him to spill it? Get in there. There we go. Lovely. That actually looks lovely, doesn't it, now? I don't know the about gravy. that, Matt, but I'll let you go with it. There we go. Okay. We're nearly there. Finishing touch. Is that your drop again? Done. That's oh. the yeah, technical term, lift, drop. Lift a drop. Done. <laughs> Let's have a round of applause. They've done the pie. Mm, thank you. Thank you, guys. Remember the cards at the beginning? Remember Ready, Steady, Cook? Get those cards up, guys. So who do you think has cooked the best pie? Show, vote for your cards. Yeah. I think that's just about, actually, gone to the chef's hat. Yeah. James, I think you've got some uh, examples of what else is on offer. Do you want to bring it down? Yeah, we've got some of the good food here. Which, uh, which is available in the canteen. And these dishes, there's loads of different dishes, pasta dishes, there's uh, stew and dumplings, fish cakes, and they all use the kind of ingredients we use today in our pie. So they're full of energy, loads of flavor, and they're not too expensive either. Fantastic. So don't forget, guys, it's up to you now. Visit the website, have a look, get involved in the blogs, be good to your teachers, and get real with your food. Give yourselves a round of applause, you've been great. And coming I thought it was quite good because it showed about the MIM and it shows how fast foods are all what it seems. It shows that people buy things and they don't always know what's in it. It's not very nice. It's not nice thinking that what's been in that food has been in me. I, I think they've certainly, you've captured their interest and they're going to take this forward. You've made them realise definitely what's in some of the stuff they have been eating. Um, and I think that they will convey a lot of this in, to their classmates as well. And I think having seen this demonstration today, it'll make them think twice about going there anyway.